I want to be a farmer when I grow up. My dad and my uncle and my grandpa farm. And you do a lot of cool stuff, like feed cows and work plants and combine and stuff. I grew up here. My dad lived here. I'm the third generation. My boys are the fourth generation. My grandkids will be the fifth generation. Well, I've been a wheat growers member ever since I started farming back in the 70s. And uh, we enjoy working with wheat growers and marketing our production, our grains. I have three children and ten grandchildren, and uh, they all have been raised on this farm. It's, it's just been a privilege for me to uh, be part of that wheat growers for the 21 years of the 90 year history. It's a tremendous uh, history when you really look at it. I'm just thrilled that we have the freedom to do this, to, to be able to be farmers. Thank God for allowing me to be raised in a farm and to just see the cattle that we produce and the crops that are produced and how that goes out to everywhere else and um, where it all just starts here. We Growers has donated 45 rescue tubes to uh, uh, fire departments in our trade area. We provide them with the training and the, you know, the, the knowledge of how to use that equipment. We do a lot of uh, outreach with local rescue agencies and 4-H and FFA and schools with on-the-farm safety, grain bin safety. We work with first responders on grain engulfment rescue and what to do in those type of scenarios. Wheat growers put, helped pay for the EMT class this last winter to get a few more people trained in EMT so that the community could get an ambulance. That could be a matter of saving lives or not. It is just huge. Wheat growers is huge in safety. We are one of the leaders in the whole area. Started in June when I first came here last year was when I first met Rolly. I got to know Rolly and his story, kind of his wife and her Alzheimer's. Uh, we got to talking and I got to meet his wife and see the situation and how he helps her day in, day out. I'd worked with companies similar to Farm Rescue and decided that to contact them and, and touch base with them to see if we could get help. Got a reply back within a t couple days and he was one of the first ones to get uh, his fields planted. We uh, donated the wheat seed and the application of the fertilizer and this fall, when they harvested in August, really had one of his best wheat crops he's ever had. Yeah, I wish I always had the words, you know, it's just, you know, like, You know, when you say thank you, that should be enough, but I know it ain't. All the years of farming and out here, year after year and struggling, this was by far the kindest thing that ever happened to Irene and I. Josh and wheat growers, just way beyond whatever I expected out of them. So. All I can say is thank you for the good job done. We are a full service precision ag company. Sell service and installation of a 
numerous precision ag hardware packages. Our precision ag program will help the producers be more efficient and become better producers. The technology is, is moves forward. We've changed a lot of things, how we do things in, like, say, the last five, ten years, but I think there's a lot of changes coming forward that are really exciting. We're going to be more efficient, faster reacting. It's not like we're ever going to hit a finish line and we're just going to be there. We're constantly evolving. It's all about long-term relationships with my agronomist, Brian. And I have a trust. He's a neighbor as well as a friend and a fellow farmer. He's not just selling me a bag of seed corn. There's experience, there's knowledge, there's trust, there's loyalty that goes along with that. There's other people out there we could do business with, but those dollars go into to their owner's pockets. And at the end of the day, wheat growers, they put the money back into the owners, which are the, the people they do business with. The money that they're reinvesting, you know, it's, it's long-term solutions to make sure that they're gonna be around longer and help serve the, the younger generation as well and keep the wheat growers co-op strong in the future. Parker, he, he loves the farm and he loves coming with me. He says when he grows up he wants to be a farmer, that's what he tells me.